Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron, but you probably already know that. So this is a show, um, it, those don't know the history, maybe you're new to this, I know I talk a lot about social media podcasting on here, and that seems like the crux of what we do, but it's what I, it's what's on my mind. And uh, this is a show that I, I, I really kind of have a lot on my mind, you know, and, and, and I, it's a place for me to get that out, right? So today's not going to be about social media, anything like this, although it probably will affect somebody on social media. So, and again, it's about food. It's kind of uh, gross. If you're, if you're bothered by such things, I, I please skip this one. Uh, don't listen to this over breakfast or anything like that. Uh, but anyways, so, so this is the first weekend I've had in a good long time where um, we had some downtime. Uh, we've been doing events ever since I went on vacation to the gathering uh, over a month ago. We've had a wrestling show. We've had pod camp. We have how she plays. This is the first weekend where I had nothing. And, and I really haven't had a day off. I know, I just talked about Mr. No Days Off. But damn it, I needed a day off. Uh, technically, I kind of worked both days in, in, in some capacity. But still, stuff got done. But I needed to take, take, take a step back. So Saturday, got up, did, did some stuff. Uh, and, and we went out to Red Robin, one of my favorite restaurants, actually. I got the little Red Robin card. I get the free burger every year and all that stuff. Oh, that just made me sad now I think about this. And, and... So we went, and I'm a big fan of the Bernie Love Burger. I know this is me. You know, I'm like obviously I have a little bit of a weight problem, and and I'm talking about eating food uh, like Red Robin. But anyways, uh, hey, I've lost like 40 pounds in the last couple of years, so I'm I'm on the track for it. But anyways, I digress. So we go. You know, it's a typical Red Robin experience. I'm there. I'm just kind of decompressing, letting stuff kind of sink in. You know, a lot of a lot of big decisions were made this week uh, as far as the company goes and everything, and a lot of things going on around around everything, right? And uh, and 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 and, uh, and I'm sitting down. I'm enjoying my burger. I'm halfway through my burger, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, something's not right. And and and, and, and it was just like one last catch that something wasn't right before I swallowed. Actually, now it gets weird. Um, and, I, and I go like, wait a minute. And I check again. And I'm like, that doesn't feel right at all. So I reach into my mouth. Yeah. Or no, actually, I didn't even reach into my mouth. I went ahead and spit up the entire thing on my plate, like right off the bat. Or, 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 or something to that effect. And I pull out a piece of metal. Long, thin metal. It was like a wire about if you're on video this long so what is that probably like an inch half an inch inch we're going with an inch it's an inch long but it's bent in half so it's even longer maybe three quarters of an inch anyways either way pretty freaking big to be a piece of metal in my mouth so i'm freaked out i'm I catch a waitress and say i just found this in my food please get me a manager I don't think I even said that. I think this is a big, I don't know. It's all kind of hazy. Um, I was in a little bit of shock because I realized I almost swallowed this damn thing. And if I did, I no if, ands, or buts. I was, I was heading to the hospital. Uh, and who knows how much damage. And I probably wouldn't be talking to you on a podcast for probably a while uh, if, if that was the case. So I was just kind of like, oh, crap, this, this happened. And uh, the manager came over. I was like, "Do you want you know I can make you new, you know some food to go, something you know, and, and you know, fill out this incident report and all this stuff just in case." And I'm just like, "No, I don't. It doesn't feel like it got me in, in my mouth or anything. I don't think there's anything wrong other than it's a freaking piece of metal that I almost ate uh, that was in my sandwich, you know." And uh, and I was just done. And we we left. And I just didn't even want to deal with food. We just kind of walked around the mall, and I was just kind of like thrown off by the entire thing so uh and it goes and it's a couple days later and uh i i'm still very much inspecting my food like i had a burger at eaton park tonight during our meeting and i like i had a cheese and bacon burger and i'm still opening the thing up to inspect it and now i guess this is kind of a last straw for me i i'm still going to restaurants i'm probably never going to go to red robin again if not for a long time, okay, after an incident like that. And, and I feel bad because uh, what did I do? You know, I, I, I tweeted it, you know, right away. I'm, I'm, I'm tweeting it. It goes to my Facebook. I got a whole bunch of people saying, which one? Oh, my God. You know, 
I'm never going to that one again. I almost went to that one today. It was one of the one of the people. So I completely just like ruined that whole thing. And and, and amazingly, right, Robin's social media has not been all over me uh, since then. I'm waiting for that because the guy got my number and everything from an incident report. So I'm waiting for a the phone calls and b the coupons. I'm never going to freaking use. Uh, and it's not anything against red robin as an establishment i understand oh what the heck was the thing uh the manager who was completely perplexed by the situation again no problem you know i mean i a b i wouldn't know what to do as a manager either um go, goes he's like i and he's sitting there trying to look at the thing and he's trying to explain to me what happened like that makes it better but again what is he going to do about the situation it's the wire off of the wire brush for cleaning the grill. Think about that. Think about that for a moment. So the thing cleaning the grill, and a piece fell off of it, and somehow into, I don't know if it was into the toppings because I gotta think it's a. I'm trying to remember. It was like you know, jalapenos and 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 lettuce and 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 like a salsa y thing. I think was on top of the burger, and it was just somehow that happened and it ended up here. But again, what I mentioned before about this being kind of a last straw for me. In the past year, maybe a little longer, it feels like uh, the food gods have targeted me. Earliest recollection is an Eaton Park visit out uh, on 51. And I know I'm getting kind of localized here for you guys in in the, in the Pittsburgh area, and uh, and I still go to an Eaton Park. Nice new one over here. Hasn't done me wrong. Okay, there's that one time, but I caught that. Um, but I was like trying something different, trying to eat a little bit better. Had this spinach and strawberry salad. I think it was. I know it was very spinachy. And uh, I'm eating it. I'm eating it. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I pulled it out. I was like, this le- this 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 leaf of spinach feels funny. It's a Post-it note. With spinach written on it. Obviously, I have a problem with that. Meals free. Get me the heck out of here. I starve for that. I know, starve. Like, look at me. I'm, I'm completely starved over here. Um, other incident. Well, uh, sheets. Uh, I still go to sheets. It's probably not a good idea either. Uh, I love sheets. I, I had a chicken sub and there was a bone in it. You know. Again. Kind of, I like. I might have chipped the tooth. I don't know. It's just, it just happened. It's like, whoop! I caught it. That's fine. Let the manager know. I'm like, here is this thing. You know, I could probably get a lot of stuff out of these freaking restaurants if I really pushed it. We go to another Eaton Park up up the road here in in Dormont, and uh, and there's a band aid on the side of my plate. A used band aid on the side of my plate. Uh-huh. Uh, not to mention the chicken parm that. Tasted rotten. Yeah, I was uh, back after a bite of it. I was like, "This is not right." Just um, so there you go. I don't know. I uh, unfortunately, my I, I guess I feel a little little safer with fast food at this point. Uh, so and unfortunately, my life is so uh, tr- tumultuous and, and and busy right now that uh, I can't really afford to stay home and cook <laughs> at this point. So I am left to the devices of others. To make food for me and see how well that's gone. Sorry, I'm hitting the mic or the table here. Um, but uh, that's my that's my that's my thing. Uh, what kind of weird stuff? I, this has not been a regular occurrence for me until what started with the spinach post-it note incident of yesteryear. Um, I don't know if this is a phase. I don't know if I'm just because this is all chance that you get the bad one. You know that you get the thing that fell on your thing. You know. Or just it's happening more than we think. <laughs> we just don't catch it. Maybe I ate something. That's a horrible thought. There's a thing. I'm really going to gross people out on this episode. There's a thing where uh, supposedly in uh, the course of your life, you've ate several spiders while you've been sleeping. <laughs> That's unsettling. Hope my wife doesn't listen to this one. I know she doesn't listen to anything. I'm not asking her to transcribe. Anyways. How many things have you eaten <laughs> at a restaurant? You just didn't notice. Anyways, I really hope you're not eating during this. Apologize for that. But uh, it's that little bit of the sorg life that gets weird around here. And I had to share my story. We'll get back to a cool social media tool tomorrow. Um, Periscope seems to be enjoying this right now. 
You can follow me at Sorgatron, Sorgatron.com. I swear I won't talk about food, at least in this manner, on the uh, newsletter that you can sign up for over there. It's more about, uh, hey, this is why you should podcast. Hey, make sure you use Twitter the right way. Uh, don't hold your camera wrong. Stuff like that. It's more what we go for. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.